Getting some new guidelines from the Small Business Administration on PPP loans and how they pertain to hedge funds and private equity. Let's get to our Eamon Javers. Eamon? Yeah, Carl, that's right. What they're saying over the SBA is that hedge fund and private equity firms are not now allowed to get PPP loans. This new guidance coming out from the SBA saying that hedge funds and private equity firms are primarily engaged in investment or speculation, and such businesses are therefore ineligible to receive a PPP loan. They're saying that the administrator of the SBA uh, does not believe that it was Congress's intent for these types of businesses, which are generally ineligible for these types of small business loans, to get PPP financing. So that clears up one element of the mystery around all of this. One of the other elements here uh, is this idea that they're emphasizing here that you have to certify as a borrower uh, that the uncertainty around COVID is impacting your business. And they're warning here uh, that they may go back and check those companies that are now applying for PPP loans, uh, whether or not they really were impacted by COVID or whether they were struggling previous to the virus's impact. So that's one thing for borrowers to watch. Marco Rubio, uh, the senator who's keenly involved in all of this, tweeted earlier today that he believes the PPP program will be back up and running, Carl, full time on Monday. And we'll see how long those new funds last. That first round went awfully quick. And the expectation is this new round will go quick as well, Carl. Yeah, and Eamon, uh, even earlier this morning, a Robert Frank tweeted a figure of the number of public companies who received PPP assistance. And it's just amazing how this one program, which is barely a few weeks old, has had multiple political sand traps. Yeah, absolutely. And, and companies really didn't know what they were getting into here. This all happened so quickly. People had to make judgments very, very fast. And maybe a lot of them were thinking primarily in terms of dollars and cents and not in terms of the political impact of that. And you've seen some of the big universities like Harvard uh, reverse course here and back out of some of the funding that they got under the CARES Act, not necessarily PPP. Uh, a lot of companies now realizing there's a political element to this as well as a bottom line element.